Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show as always. Thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Now this video is probably going to be rather short. It may not even make your recommended. But here we go anyway. Earlier in the week, it circulated that, uh, after the march in Washington for March for Our Lives that Emma Gonzalez had walked on stage and ripped the Constitution in half. A picture went around, circulated the internet showing this to have happened. And I want to make it very clear. Folks, it's fake. You may be thinking just because it came from right-wing sources that it's not fake news. But let me guarantee you that it is fake news. It's clearly photoshopped. If you look at the picture, you can clearly tell that it's photoshopped. That is not what she did. She did not do this. She did not rip the Constitution up. And I wish people would quit believing every little bit of BS they hear. I'm glad that most of the people on my Facebook page haven't shared that yet. Um, I con was concerned because I have a lot of conservatives that believed a lot of hype about things that were said during the 2016 election that turned out to be completely false. And so Emma Gonzalez did not okay, did not rip up the Constitution. That is not what she did at March, at, at March for Our Lives or anywhere else for that matter. The picture is a fake. And one last rant for, for, for this week. I saw earlier this week something from Planned Parenthood. Now, I'm very much pro-choice and don't believe it's my place as a man and let, you know, to tell a woman what to do with her body. That's not, that's not, I just don't believe it's my place. But I can tell you, I can tell when something seems wrong. And a charter of Planned Parenthood, apparently in Pennsylvania, put out a tweet talking about how we need Disney princesses that have had abortions and that are pro-choice and all this. And I don't believe it's necessary. I think that's one of the most disgusting things I have, I have seen somebody tweet. Now, I don't mind some of their other comments they made in that same tweet about, you know, princesses that might be immigrants or this or that, right? But to sit there and say you need to push abortion? Abortion shouldn't be pushed on anybody. I don't want to see talks of abortion in a child's cartoon. I don't want to see that. That's not what I'm watching. That's not what kids watching cartoons for or, or a movie. That's not what I watch TV for. I don't want to see that. You know, I, I may be pro-choice, but I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of the process of abortion. And I don't think it should be in kids' shows. I don't think it's reasonable. So to that charter of Planned Parenthood, one, if you haven't apologized yet, you need to. Two, maybe, just maybe, you need some new leadership. Because that was the most irresponsible tweet I have seen in a long time from somebody that wasn't Donald J. Trump. Anyhow, hope you are having a great Friday. This has been the Big Ranch Show. I'm your host, Jacob Keck, and I'll see you down the road.